Okay. Is it gone? Harvest Celebration crew, welcome to Stiver's Homestead. I'm Zach. And I'm Jen. Hi. I'm <laughs> How about that action? Isn't that awesome? Greetings to the flag of the United States of America and to the public for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, we're going to start off with our state song, and it's my old Kentucky home. Oh, the sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home Till summer people are gay The corn tops bright and the meadows in the blue While the birds make music all day Diana at Justice Acres. What's it about? Uh, we have a little over 18 acres. So we have horses, and we have ducks, and chickens, and turkeys, and rabbits. So what's your channel? Haywire Homestead. What's it about? Here. It's a farm in o south e uh, southwest Ohio. Five acres with goats, chickens, and horses. Hi, I'm what's Sarah. You um, what's your channel? Do you have one? I do not have a channel. I am Jennifer and Zach's sister. Karen. Karen. Great, <laughs> Karen. Yeah. She wouldn't let us know what that was all about until just now. And I felt the water coming in. Yeah. Right. Man, we are so happy that all of you all are here. It is amazing. Look at this. That's crazy. We started YouTube. The end of January. We yeah. I always say we started in February. She always gets on because we posted January 28th. Yep. No, so no, twenty fourth. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> right. But you know, at that point we didn't know any of you all at all. And it was just it opened our eyes to what we had been missing. Yeah. This community, this family, all the people that are willing to travel from far California. We got Grace over, we got Florida, right? Now, and everywhere else that you all came from just to come to this event. You know, so I hope um, that it's everything that you hope it is. Um, I hope you have a good day, enjoy yourselves. Um, but I know Karen's probably looking at me like, we gotta get on schedule. So we have our first speakers that are coming yes. up. That is Hank and Gina. Yes. Uh, they are great friends of ours. This is actually our first time meeting them, but I feel like we've been family for months now. Uh, they're the ones from Florida. They drove all this way. They have 75 acres. Hank is a ret retired United States Air Force. After How about you? <laughs> All right. Quietness Presbyterian Church this morning. Uh, so, for those of you who may not know us 
or follow our channel, that is Hank's catchphrase. Every time you see him, that's how every video starts, it's how about you, so. Uh, we're real fortunate, you know, our YouTube channel's doing really, really good. Uh, and so our Instagram is where we showcase our home and uh, it's doing good as well. But with that being said, we appreciate y'all. Thanks a lot for having us up. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, and we will uh, hopefully get to talk to you and mingle with you as the, as the afternoon progresses. So appreciate y'all. As Gina walked away, she said, he is such a rambler. And I think he can act pretty well. I think y'all are pretty much the same people. <laughs> I think if him and I sit down at a table, oh. no one's going to speak so tell him I <laughs> become one of my closest friends and I'm so blessed to be able to call her and Zachary our friends and when I say they're about as genuine as it gets I mean it. Jennifer's birthday is going to be on November 14th and I thought Karen and Zach and I came together and decided why not go ahead and have a little bit of a birthday celebration with some of your closest friends from YouTube right? So let's go ahead and start and we'll sing some happy birthday to her. What do you say? Yeah. Right. Happy birthday. What do you think? Oh my God. I don't have food. Look at this line. This line's for chili. Is there enough food? There's enough food. Oh my God. I'm still been busy, dude. Yeah, man. So this man, he's got a solar and wind power out here. <laughs> and I don't think he stopped talking. I think he's actually talking more than we're talking. <laughs> but he's got a cool. So this TV's running off your solar, right? Oh yeah, everything's running from solar. So he's got a solar outside set up. And then he's just showing how the solar works with his TV that's hooked up here and explaining all the details of it. So that's really cool. Because there's a lot of people that are like, oh, well, it's solar school and all, but it can't really support everything I want it to. But it can, right? It can. Exactly. It's just all about how many you have. It's all, all, all about being efficient. Right. Yeah. Like making sure you're not wasting right. as much as what you can actually generate. Right. You want to watch TV, make sure you're watching. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Well, their channel is Consider It Joy. Make sure to check them out. I've learned so much from him just in the little bit that we've had a chance to talk about. And he is just pumping knowledge with off-grid power. You know, that's the way I like to say it. So, wind, solar, do you devil and water in it? I do, I do hydro, yeah. Okay, so he's got all, all, the, all the different kind of off-grid power. So check out Consider It Joy. They're starting their journey with a brand new house that he's building from hand. So they got a lot of stuff going on, so you want to check them out. I'll tell you one thing, this wind will be a true test on our microphone to see actually how good it is, because it is whippy. So actually a good friend of Grammy Karen's, they live in the same neighborhood, brought his portable wood miser. So check that out. Let's get a better look at it. Okay, how'd you think it went? Oh, I think it went great. I do too. I was pleased. Everybody supported it, made it successful. I think it went good. This woman deserves more than my <laughs> fake promotions that we give her. <laughs> Got it choked up. She's moved up from project manager to head planning coordinator. The salary didn't change though. No. <laughs> Still not a salary change. Oh my goodness. What am I going to work on now? How do I? Next year. <laughs> yeah. Now you got a whole year to plan. Yeah. So you did this in like True. what? How many? Six months? So you did this in six months. What can you do in 12 months? Well, we'll Double see. this? We'll see. All right, to be determined. Yeah. We'll clean up time now. Okay, y'all. It's Monday. We're back home and everybody's gone. It's sad. It is very. Oh, gosh. A bee just attacked my ear. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this weekend was the most amazing thing we've ever done. Um, the fellowship, the family, the friends, everyone that was there, our hearts are just pouring over. It's, it's just been amazing. Um, we always talk about our wedding weekend when we got married in Gatlinburg. And we were in a resort all together in the, kind of the same cabin area. Uh, and then the day after our wedding, we got another stay in like a individual one person bedroom for our honeymoon. Uh, and so we were sitting on our balcony and we were watching everybody pack up and leave. And as much as we were excited to have some alone time and some honeymoon time, 
we were so sad because we wanted everyone to stay. We yeah. just wanted to keep the high going from the, the weekend. And it was so sad to watch yeah. people leave. Very bittersweet. That's exactly how we feel right now. Yeah. Um, as we know, everybody was heading home. You know, most everyone is uh, hopefully home safe. Um, we're sad, but we're also full of joy because it was such an amazing weekend. Um, you know, the people that came, y'all came as Stive Tribe subscribers on the YouTube channel. You came as friends. Everyone left as family. Yep. Every single one of you. And I know there was a couple that we didn't get to meet and it breaks my heart. Um, for the majority though, we did meet, I think everyone, most everyone. And we got to talk with you. We got to learn your names, learn your stories and your homesteads and your dreams of homesteads, which was, you know, very awesome to hear everyone's dreams yep. if you aren't already there. and. It was just an incredible thing to, we've talked with you all for so long and to put the names with faces and your stories and just be able to connect that and, you know, know that you're leaving here. And even though you're not here, it feels like you still are because you're in our hearts. Yep. And you know, it was so funny every time we was meeting people, you know, you all see our big old faces on video all the time. We get that little bitty thumbnail picture on the comments. But because you all comment so much and are so nice and we get to communicate so much, it was funny how we were recognizing people just off that little bitty yeah. thumbnail picture. Uh, just because you all are so important to us and it was absolutely breathtaking to see everyone in the audience. Uh, man, all the speakers were amazing. Yeah. And we know it wasn't easy for some of you too. You had to travel a really long way and you did that for us and it just means so much to us. It's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. We can't put it into words how grateful and appreciative and, and how blessed, blessed we are uh, mm -hmm. to have such a community and such a core group of people um, that would travel all over the world to get to this event in Frankfort, Kentucky and spend some time with us. Yes. As some of you that have been following us for a while now, you know that the past three months have been rough. Um, Zach's stepdad passed away very unexpectedly. We were actually at the Hootenanny. We were at our hotel getting ready to go to it to meet more of you awesome people. And um, we didn't get to because that tragedy struck and we had to come home. But for us, it feels like this event and you all specifically has gotten us through the past three months. Um, we've been able to focus on this and put our energy into it and our time into it. And it's kind of kept us positive and looking forward to something and not you know just completely down in the dumps you know we are still in our hearts we're very upset and mourning every day um, we grieve we miss him so much in everything that we do every single day every moment um, but it's because of you all and this event that we were able to get through that yeah and i don't think we was able to catch much of our actual speech i know a lot of other people did uh, and one of the things that I was saying is, you know, uh, Gary was my go-to guy when I had an issue with a project or a task or whatever it was here on the homestead. And it's like, there at the beginning, I was like, who am I going to call now? Like, I, I'm throwing my hands up. Like, I can't do this because I don't have him. Um, and then it was like, you all started commenting. You all started suggesting things. You all started helping me. And it like a light bulb went off. Like, I can contact any one of you all and you all will help me um, if there's something that I'm struggling on getting done. And you know, that's where this community turned more than a community and turned into family. Um, it's just incredibly important for us to all share our knowledge with one another and always have each other's backs and not be scared to pick up the phone and call one another and know that we all have that same goal and same dream yes. um, to be sustainable on our homesteads, live our lives the best we can with love, faith, and family, and to try to do everything we can to be sustainable. Yes. And you know, that's. It, it was an eye opener and I thank every single one of you all for being there for us, having our backs and knowing that we have your back too. Um, we are not a closed door YouTube channel. Um, we comment, we respond back, we try to do everything we can to answer every single response that there is um, because we love you all. Um, we really do, we say it in every video, but we absolutely do. Um, and we can't thank you all enough for everything. Yes, and we try our hardest to invite every single one of you into our homes, whether that's physically or virtually, right. and we hope you feel that. Uh, we, you know, like he said, it's an open door. We want you all to feel involved in our lives because we want to feel involved in your lives. We yep. want that to be this connection to where we always have each other and, you know, advice, questions, anything. We're always here and we know that you all are always there. 
and I think that Gary was remembered in this event. Um, he was very much involved with the planning at the beginning. He wanted to be there so bad. I could just see <laughs> with his little grins how proud of us he would have been when he saw us and all of you all and he would have loved to meet you all. So it feels like he was still there in spirit and we thank you all for also recognizing that and you know talking with us and all of the condolences and it just means the world to us so wrapping this bad boy up the final count that we got uh, from the event was around 300 people um, and that is mind-blowing to even think about um, we had registered about 500 now given it's a free ticket so it's very easy to just register for a ticket and we understand things come up um, so we expected maybe half yeah. half of that number to show up I um, mean, then you all surpassed that with about 300. For our first annual event, that is amazing. It was incredible. So we planned really hard. Um, a lot of thanks to Grammy Karen, Aunt Patty, and Don Morgan, who really, really helped out in assisting. Julie Wright, um, thank you so much for everything you did. Yeah. Consider Julie Homestead, they were huge in this. She was by my side and my mom's side every second asking, yeah. you know, what can I do? What can I do? And I just, I appreciate it so much. She basically saved lunch because yeah. we had a little <laughs> crock pot <laughs> fiasco with power surges and stuff. I mean, I think she got everybody's soup going besides, besides I think her own. hers. Hers didn't make, but hey, she sacrificed. Yeah. And we thank you, Julie, for all that. And Lundy, for all the work you did putting yes. up your solar panels, but you all got to see him in the video. Um, that man was working hard building stuff out there just to make sure he could show the solar panels and everything that solar could do. So yeah. make sure to go give them a check out. All the rest of the demonstrators, yes. all the speakers, um, the ha guests. Hamiltonville Farm. Yes. So we were wearing his shirts. He was the first speaker, him and Gina, and they won the award for the most comfy t-shirt yeah. ever. This thing is awesome. Yeah. Um, so please make sure to go check them out. We're going to try to link a bunch of the channels below yeah. in our description that you all got to see throughout this there video. There were so many helpers though. Um, you know, Sarah, my almost sister-in-law, um, two families, daughter or granddaughters, just mm -hmm. all the kids that my mom so with much. the kids. Yes, Thank there you. There were so many people stepped up and just said, you know, how can I help? Yes. How can I make this smooth? And we appreciate it so much. Yeah, and it was just just amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> the birthday surprise was the coolest thing ever. Alyssa, my best friend, she has Beck to Basics YouTube channel. They're the ones that always take care of our homestead when we're not here which when we go see you all <laughs> right and she and my mom and zach planned this birthday not me surprise. i didn't do anything <laughs> i did nothing this was you all just kept the i did <laughs> Alyssa just she first reached out to me to make sure that i was cool if they did that i'm like absolutely yeah and then i had to like intentionally forget about it so i wouldn't spoil the surprise <laughs> so that was all yeah. her and uh, grammy Karen. but my birthday's in two weeks so she organized it to where everyone would sing happy birthday and then we got to eat cake and cupcakes together that um she and my mom and and Becky Perman from Ravens Nature Family Farm organized. Seeing you all sing happy birthday to me was the coolest thing I had, could ever ask for for a birthday. <laughs> Even though it wasn't my birthday, you know, just like I'll be able to hear your all's voices in my head on my birthday yeah. and have that memory. And I can't thank her enough and them for organizing that. It just, it meant so much to me. And I tried not to cry, so <laughs> I did a little, but I was trying to hold it back. <laughs> but thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. For those of you that weren't able to make it, um, we missed you. We so really much. wish, yeah, we you wish you could have been in there. in our hearts. You were not forgotten. You were in our conversations. We talked about a lot of you all. Yep. We know some of you had stuff come up that was, you know, not preventable, and we missed you very, very much. Absolutely. I was actually thinking of people that I hadn't met yet that are mm -hmm. big commenters and stuff. So, you know, we very much missed you. I hope you were able to feel like you were there through all the videos that have been posted and that will still be posted this week. Um, we'll, we will be making a playlist um, on our channel and putting all the videos that are about the harvest celebration in there so you can go through and just watch them all as yep. they come. Um, but we are absolutely full of joy today. Um, and it's, sadness. <laughs> because we and miss sadness. you. <laughs> exactly. Um, and now we're planning for next year. Yeah. So we told Grammy Karen she had about six months to plan this one and she pulled this off. Yeah. Now she gets a full year. So you all better be ready for something awesome <laughs> yeah. for next year. Um, I know a couple mm -hmm. little things that we learned, you know, around the food area, um, maybe moving into a bigger and even better yeah. place to where we can maybe do vendors. Um, so little things that'll be coming up, but we're already starting to think about next year just because this year was such, such a success and you all made it that yes. way. 100% because of you all. And we are so grateful. 
we love y'all and don't forget to go check us out live after this this was a premiere and we will be live so just come on over to the channel hopefully it'll pop up if you have the bell on and we'll talk to you on there and kind of recap and answer questions or whatever arises <laughs> yeah and if you're watching this after monday ignore that last yeah. part because we will be not live after this yeah. <laughs> but we absolutely love you all we can't thank you enough this was the most amazing weekend we had right beside our wedding and the birth of our children yes so it was that important to us and that amazing and we love you all we love y'all until the next one bye bye Some time.